my party people welcome back to my channel we're gonna be doing yet another Timu haul I do not know what's in this bag um, so yeah so before we get started I want to let you know that this is a human hair wig I just bought um, I'll be doing a review on it but if you want to check them out before my review it's uh, the wig company is called Shani Drew LLC or Shani Drew wigs LLC it's s H A N N Y D R E W one word Shani Drew Wigs LLC and this piece is Gorge Gorge it's real human hair um so yeah I'm gonna do a review on that but I just want to let you know about that or if you're not in, interested in wigs that's cool too no biggie but I have this big Timu haul over here well it's maybe not too too big but this bag was heavy as crap um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna do this, like, this little bag came separate, so I just thought I would kind of throw it in with this. Um, just so you know, I will link down below, like, an affiliate, well, not really an affiliate link, but, like, my code so you can get, if you're a new user and you download their app, you can get $100 in coupons and 50% off your first order, which is, like, a lot. And also, um, I'm gonna try and link my order below, but I'm having trouble with that because Timu, like, um, I'll go to copy the link and it'll just say timu.com. Well, duh. So, <clears throat> if I don't leave the link, I'm sorry. You just leave a comment of what, whatever you want to link for and I'll try and link you to it. But, and I'll also put the prices up here. Um, I hope that's helpful. I don't know. <laughs> but, anyway, so let's just start with this little one because everything in here is just about the same. I may have gotten some weird somewhere you know what so I think all these three things are the same so this is a little bit of a craft item I'm hoping not all of this is crafts I don't think it is but um so I use these like imitation it's called imitation cream and I'm sorry let me see my lighting maybe that wonder if that's better now all right well anyways these are like imitation cream um and I know that sounds like the weirdest freaking thing but if you make any kind of like fake pastry it's just like a DIY material, like an imitation cream material. I don't know. It, but I put it through a piping bag and you can like make make things like look on cupcakes look like frosting and whatnot. So that's what these are for. Um, so I got this one in white. I think they might all be white. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I'm going to use them a lot, I think, on my car freshies, which I am going to do a video on car freshies. I'm actually doing some right now for my Etsy order because I've gotten like four orders off my Etsy, which I'm like super pumped about because, yeah, I'm like super pumped. So I got this, this to put, I have like a latte cup, like a Starbucks latte cup, and I'm going to put like this around the top of it um, to make it look like whipped cream. Yeah, so that's why I got those. Well, actually, here's another one. Is this one white, too? Yeah, I just got four white, and then I thought, well, you know, I can um, maybe put a little bit of glitter on them and kind of jazz it up a little bit. But yeah, that's all it is, is like imitation whipped cream. Okay, so I got this thing, and <laughs> I don't know. I, you ever just, like, see something on Timu, and you're like, what? Why? Why are they selling this? Like, what? What is it? But so I've seen this thing before, and it's, like, something you, like, sniff. It's Vigorous Peppermint Energy Bar. Product effect, refreshing and refreshing. Bid farewell to drowsiness. Bid farewell. Sayonara drowsiness. See you later drowsiness. So it looks, the package looks like this. It, it looks like there's a little melon right there, but I don't know what that is, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna see. I'm gonna show, let me show you this. This is kind of weird, but so this is what it looks like. It almost looks like a little vape pen. And it's got these two nasal things. Should we try it? Should we try it? Absolutely, we're gonna try it. <sighs> Very minty. It's like a Vicks va va Vapo, yeah, Vicks Vapor Rub. My boyfriend would kill me if he saw me do that. He hates when I sniff candles and I'm like, oh, that's about oh yeah, it really clears up the nasal passages. I smell, do smell like strawberry-ish, but I don't know. It's supposed to wake you up. It's supposed to wake you up, be invigorated with your nasal sniffer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry I keep playing with this. I can't, I am horrible at like curling things. And as you can tell, this side was decent, this side wasn't. Anyway, so that's what that is. I don't even know what they called this. I'll put it on the screen, but Hanboli vibrant and refreshing energy stick 
<laughs> ah, okay, whatever. I buy the weirdest crap sometimes. All right, as we head into the big bag here, this large bag, I hope this doesn't take forever. Um, so here's a little kitchen utensil. It's like a meat, meat tenderizer. I don't know why, why I did this. Urgh. Like I'm gonna stab the steak or something. Looks like this. And then, ooh, so you do like this, like, oh, uh, take that steak. So yeah, that's what that looks like. It's like a meat tenderizer. That's pretty neat, I guess. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, I feel like this will be hard to clean, but it's sharp as, as heck. So yeah, just a little meat tenderizer. Thought I needed it. Don't know why. Who knows? I hope there's not any earrings or glitter in here. Oh my God. Okay, I spoke too soon. I'm so sorry. You know me with my earrings and my glitter, okay? So I got this. This is like the cutest pair of like polymer clay earrings. I've seen these and I had to have them. I hope there's not like a gazillion, a gazillion earrings in this package. Uh-oh, the back on this one's bent, but that's okay. We'll bend it. But look how cute they are. They like got little bows on the top and they're just black, white, and gray. Really cute. I think they're cute. They don't say any, I mean, they don't say there's no, obviously. I thought that was might have been a little word there because I'm blind as a bat. But yeah, I just thought they were kind of cute. That's what they look like. Little polymer clay bow earrings. Thought they were cute. They definitely are polymer clay. They feel like a little, not squishy, but I don't know. Then I got these little Barbie heads. And I thought I might do something with these as like a freshie like a vent clip of some sort. These are silicone, so they could go on, they're actually like silicone beads, but I was gonna like put them on a freshie and put like some pink glitter around it. I don't know, you know how popular Barbie is. But these would be cute on like the silicone, like the pens that they're making now, or you know, things like that. So it's a pack of, does it say nine? That's an odd number to put in, that's an odd number to put in, but why not 10? Why didn't you give me 10? Like, why'd you, why would you just give me nine? Like, here's your nine Barbie heads. You can't have ten. You can only have nine. But yeah, that's what they look like. They're like bendy and silicone. You can put them on necklaces, bracelets, earrings, any kind of thing. So I kind of got them to, like, just experiment with. All right. Next up is some nails. We all love Timu. We all love the Timu nails, right? Ugh. I can't get them out. I think these say they're handmade. So I don't know. But it comes with... These little glue-on things, which I never use, and the orange stick and a file. So I don't. I guess handmade means hand-painted, which I'm. Oh, oh my gosh! This box just like flew open. It comes in this little box, and this one's kind of falling out of here. So let me put it. Let me put it back where it belongs. It's it's on like this. They're very. Oh yeah, can you see they're like a cat eye type of situation? But they there's like a sticky residue right there that I don't know if you guys can see it but they're like a cat oh I love these I just hope they fit my fingers because I'm sorry my nails are disgusting right now but I hope they fit my fingernails because you had to like pick a size and I'm like I don't know it's these these kind of look kind of small for me Ugh. I think I got a small I might need a medium so anyways make sure you measure your size because yeah but they're really pretty they're definitely like hand painted or something. I probably won't be able to get these back in here because I can never get a package back in and do another package. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So yeah, I think I bought these before, but these don't stink or anything, but they're really nice. They're, I like those. I'll have to try those on. But again, might need a different size. And of course, now that I said that, here's another pack. Oh, let me get these out. And these are like, just like a nude color. They're like, Kind of like cat's eye, but they're like a nude color. But they look so small. Ooh, maybe if I cut my fingernails, like the middle finger one looks like super tiny. Like it might just cover my nail. I don't know. Don't know. We'll try them. I guess if I guess I know going forward that I might have to get a medium. I'm pretty sure these are small. Let me check. Yeah, that other color was pink. Oh, I can't get these back in here. Mm. Anyway, these are called nude small. So yeah, I did get a small. That was probably not a good idea. So I, it, they're really pretty though. I would definitely buy them again. Um, yeah, I would definitely buy them again and probably get them in a medium. Let me just get that out. Okay. 
All right, next up, it looks like a pair of earrings. I know you're shocked, right? You're absolutely shocked that I bought another pair of earrings. These are really cute though, look. They're like little leopard and it's like a, like a yellowy kind of color, but they're really cute. Love those. Love those. Just says number 109. I don't know what that means. I guess that's maybe like their color code or something, but those are really cute. They're like an acrylic type of thing. All right, put those in there. Oh, I got my cat some cute little toys. She's gonna love these. Absolutely love those. I think you get, does it say how many are in here? Doesn't say, but there's quite a few. So, yep, just a little cat toy for our little baby kitten. She is probably about seven weeks now, so she'll love those. And I know, another pair of earrings. You guys are probably getting sick of me and my stupid earrings, right? These are definitely polymer clay, but look how cute they are. They're like little, it looks like a, looks like sweater. Doesn't look like sweater material. How cute, super fall related type of earring. Love those. Seriously, if I didn't get glitter or earrings in every package, you guys would probably think I was sick or something because I literally get glitter and earrings and everything. Okay, um, so I got this notebooky looking thing. It just says activity log and it says like the date, start, end, and the just says appointment or contact. So I'm, I'm about this for work so that like I could take notes. Like if someone calls me, I can write it down or if there's something important I need to follow up on. I like to have like one sheet a day where I'm like, okay, I need to call that person, I need to follow up, I need to follow up. So I just thought that was good. That would be a good work thing to take. I have no idea how many sheets are in here. Let's see if it says, or I'll try and put it up on the screen. It just says one piece. I don't know. But anyways, it's like a little planner book. So I thought, eh, I need that for work. No doubt. And this is probably the kind of like the same kind of thing. So it's like an activity log book. Um, let's see what the top of this is. Sorry, I keep putting my glasses on and off, but there's actually a date across here. January, February, March. You can pick the day. You're like a priority activity task, start, stop. And, and like a little check mark. So those were just for me to organize, be more a little bit more organized at work. That was literally the only reason for those. Okay, another pair of earrings. Guys, this might be a long haul. It looks like there's a lot in here. So this is like uh, Christmas trees and look how cute they are. This looks like the little Christmas tree cake. And then there's the buffalo check ones, super cute. Keep those for Christmas. Maybe I'll give the. I, I have a couple of girls at work. I like to do baskets for like for their birthdays or administrative assistant day or Christmas or just whatever. So I'll probably some some stuff I get from Timu. I might put in their bags. Their little baggies, just like a little appreciation bag. I got a, another phone cord. It's like a Type C phone cord. This thing is like thick. Like, it is thicker than a snicker. Look at that thing. But look at the ends. Like, they're so freaking nice. They're just built so well. Like, it's probably like, would you, how long did you say that? Three feet? Just beautiful. Their cords are excellent. I, I, you know, you go to Walmart or some convenience store or whatever, and you end up spending $14 on a cord that'll last you a couple weeks. I highly recommend Timu's phone cords. They're, they're amazing. Uh, amazing. So I got another pair of earrings. These have snowmen on them and they're like a leather kind of thing. They look like there's two pieces here, but there's not. There is not two pieces. Is there? No. It It is double-sided, but they're not, they're not, uh, what do I want to say? They're not like two pieces, but they are double-sided. It looks like they are, but there's not. So, okay. Cute. Cute, cute. Would be cute for like a Christmas party or a little gift for somebody. Okay, let's see a little bracelet. I, I swear I have this in my cart too. I love this look of like turquoise with like a little stone kind of moment. Like a, it's not hematite. Okay, this package is really hard to get into. So yeah, it looks like this. It's a larger one, but it's got like a couple of silver on it and yeah, and I have a bigger wrist. So I just, I love the look of that. It's like very kind of like, not Aztec, but like Native American or Western-y. Really cute, like that. I might wear that to work tomorrow. I don't know what to wear tomorrow. Okay, another pair of earrings. Are you guys getting sick of these earring hauls? <laughs> 
I need to leave my earrings out of it, but how cute are these? They're like green and it looks like kind of like a leaf print, if you can see it. Those are cool. I like these. Very boho. Very, very, very boho. What's at the top here? Oh, these are like, this part at the top is like, they look kind of different, see? This one's got a little bit of pink in it. Those are great. I love those. They're beautiful. Tima has some really good earrings. If you're if you don't get their earrings and rings, you are truly missing out. And their other like their bracelets, truly missing out. Okay, this this is kind of a cool thing. I thought I would get like the girls at work. It's a this little ball, and you put this little ball in the bottom of your purse. And I think this opens up somehow. Hold on, let me put my glasses back on. My hair's like falling out over here. Maybe this will keep my hair out of my face. Okay, somehow you can open this. I gotta figure it out. But the ball is like sticky and it rolls around in the bottom of your purse and like collects all the dust and dirt. And then you can take this apart somehow. Maybe if you twist, oh yeah, you twist it like this, I think. I felt it moving. Ugh, you twist it and then what? I don't know. There it goes. It opens up and you wash this ball and it gets sticky again. It isn't super sticky, so I don't know. But yeah, it's supposed to like pick up crumbs and stuff in the bottom of your purse. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. So we'll try it out. We'll try it out first before we before we give it to anybody because I don't want to give it to somebody and then have it be like a piece of crap. All right. Next up, that was there's another set of those earrings. You already seen those. I probably got those for like a friend of mine. Oh, I got like a, this really cool phone case. It looks like wood. It's kind of neat. So I'm gonna actually I just broke the case that's on my phone right now. So I am definitely going to put this one on when I, when I get off of here. But so yeah, it's like it looks like wood, but it's it's not wood. <laughs> it's not. It feels almost like it's bendy. You know what I mean? But look at the like. It looks like it's really good quality. I mean, it really is, to be quite honest with you. I hope it fits my phone thing. It was supposed to, but I thought it was just really cool looking. And it's got like the logo. I don't know what that is. A Iora, Iora, whatever that is. Don't know. But yeah, the inside looks really kind of cool. It's plasticky on the inside, but this is more of like a, it's not silicone, but it, I don't know. It's not hard either, but isn't that cool? It looks like wood. That's pretty neat. I like that. Okay, I got another tablet. This is like a to-do list tablet. I'm also obsessed with tablets and um, pens. So I'm a tablet and pen queen. Yeah, so this is just like a little to-do list. And it has like the date and then you can circle my Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday up there. Um, this came in different colors, but I got this green one. So yeah, that's another tablet for work. And I got several canvases, but I'm going to open those last because... They're kind of like in the way, <laughs> but okay. I don't know what's in here. It says sunglasses, you know? Okay. So I'm apparently a sunglass hoarder as well or glasses period, like reading glasses. Okay. I can't get this open. I probably bought these before. I'm also good for that, for buying the same things over and over again. Um, oh, these are like, are these the ones that are like, it says sunglasses, but they're not sunglasses. They're those reading glass looking things. But they're supposed to be like different vision, you know what I mean? Like one pair is bifocals and like, I don't know, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll try and like describe it up here. But it's supposedly like you can be any prescription and be able to read with these. They look like they're super, yeah, it doesn't, it's just a sunglasses, but they're not. They're readers, like you can tell by looking at them, they're readers. But they're also very dirty. They got like fingerprints all over them. So yeah, they're just like black but yeah, I, I love readers. I, I always, I, I literally lose every pair I ever buy. So I have to buy buy them constantly. So yeah, um, but it's one of those types of readers where any, any prescription, you can like look through them and be able to read. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, got this, whatever this is. It says color random. So apparently I didn't get to choose my color, whatever it is, whatever it may be. Okay. What is it? I hope it's nothing weird. Oh, okay, I don't know what I was... I don't know. I have no idea what I was going to use this for. It's like it's like something to cut soap with, I think. Y'all, I don't even know why I got this. What would you use this for? Like, you know how you cut soap in a different... 
I don't know. I have no idea why I bought this. I swear sometimes this happens like just stuff like shows up in your cart and you like don't really mean to buy it. Has that ever happened to you? I have no idea. It's sharp. I have no idea. I have no idea what I was going to use to buy that. I can't wait to see on my list what they call this. Like, I don't know. Weird random item for sure. Okay, let's dig deeper. Another pair of earrings. Okay, so there's those. They're kind of like the other pair, only these are more like a taupey brown kind of color. Love those. I swear I have like a... If you guys could see my jewelry stand, you'd die right now. Literally die. So, yeah. So those look like... I like these. And for the price, like, you really can't beat it, to be quite honest. For real. Check out their jewelry. It's, totally check out their jewelry. Digging deep. Okay, another set of nails. I have bought this, this set before, and I love the way they look on. They look, like, really super um, natural on. So that's what they look like. But they look really natural when you put them on. Like, you know how sometimes when you put press-ons on, you can, like... I don't know, they just don't have, like, the right color to them, or they're, like, too light, or I don't know. But these have the best coloring to them. I actually think I bought a couple of these. But they look very, like, nude, like a nude kind of color, I guess you could say. So it looks really good on the nails, and they always come with these little glue strips, which I don't use. I glue my nails on. It is what it is, right? Okay, I think this is another pack. Oh, another pack of nails. This one is purpley, which I don't know why I would buy purple nails. It's like there's some purple. I'm sorry, my light is like blinding everything out of the way. I'm maybe if I turn these off. No. Then I can't see a dang thing, I feel like. Sorry. But these are like purple and there's like a silver glittery one here. I hate that there's so much... What am I, what you want to call it? The, the light is horrible in here. Plus it's getting dark out earlier, so that doesn't help. I don't have much natural light. So that's what they look like. Okay. <laughs> you know, is it getting dark earlier where you live at? I live in Pennsylvania. And so like now by 8 or 8.30 it's dark. Okay. What is this? I'm always afraid I open a package and it's something really freaking weird. <laughs> that makes sense. It's like, ooh. Okay, this is, I don't know, oh, you know what this is? This is the coolest thing and I cannot wait to try this. It's a vegetable, um, you take vegetable skin off, vegetable peeler, okay, that's what it's called, words are hard. It's a vegetable peeler right here, right, and as you're peeling, it all goes into here so you can just dump it out, you know what I mean? So if you're like peeling your carrot, like that, and then all the carrot peels go into here so they're not like all over the place so yeah I thought that was like a cool little handy freaking tool you know yes that's a good handy tool right there super proud of that buy digging deep digging deep okay let's just get this out of the way okay this must be some clothing items right here so yeah let's see what kind of clothing items I got I'm not super happy with the ones I've gotten so far. Um, okay. Doesn't say what it is. Doesn't say. Just says black. I got it in a 4XL because I like things big, So because I, I like to layer. Um, it's big. It's, it's like a cardigan type thing. It's um, very polyester-ish, though. Ugh. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, that's an arm. It's just like a cardigan type thing, but it's really, like, stretchy and kind of polyester. I don't know. I don't know about this. And I probably paid... It smells like... I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just really not... Not very nice. I don't know what I paid for it, but... It's just kind of like a black cardigan. I don't know. That might go back. I've never returned anything from Timu, but... If I paid, like, a certain amount for something and I absolutely... I'll try it on, like, later, but if I absolutely hate it, I'm not keeping it. Because, like, ten bucks to me is too much to just keep an item be that doesn't work for you. Like, if it, if it was something else, like, if it was, like, a pair of earrings that were, like, two bucks, then I wouldn't mind. But 
Okay, here's another one of these bracelets, kind of like this one, but it's just a different color. So this color is white and turquoise, or white turquoise. Come on, package. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Very much like this one, only it's got white, the white turquoise instead of blue. Love those. And they both have like a little silver um little silver bead like right where these two meet so that's kind of nice okay that looks like another clothing item here's another set of nails look at those babies Woo! so they're like blue and orange and white kind of like a tie-dye thing they look quite long but i thought they were kind of neat looking so hopefully you can see those love those all right okay i got this this looks like a cardigan of some sort Oh, this was like one where it showed that it was like, see, this doesn't look, eh, it doesn't really look like the picture, but isn't that the story of our lives when it comes to Timu? Like, I don't remember this color being on here, this orangey kind of color. So it's a cardigan. Again, this feels like super like stretchy, crappy material. I'm not gonna, it, it is. It's like super stretchy, crappy material. Yeah, mm, not impressed. I was hoping it was like cotton, but it's not. And like the bottom is like a, no. I'm probably gonna return this too. Ugh, I hate returning stuff. I hate it, but I don't like, I just don't like the material. It's gonna look really cheap on, and I don't, I don't wanna wear that kind of material. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't wanna wear that kind of material. So that, well, this and that black thing are probably gonna go back. That's why I hate buying clothes off of them. Okay, last item. Obviously another clothing item, which I'm probably gonna be depressed about. And the color says light brown. Looks like somebody's already had it out of package and done God knows what with it. So this is what it looks like. Mm, very see-through, but not horrible. Not horrible, but it's kind of that same freaking material. I don't know what that material is. It's like a polyester type of... It's very stretchy, but I just don't... I need to quit trying their clothes. I think I'm going to return all three of these. Unless I put this on and it looks decent, which I highly doubt. I don't know, guys. Oh, wait, I forgot. I forgot about the canvases. Hold on. I forgot about those. Hold, please. I totally forgot about these three canvases. And I'm thinking they're all churches, so <laughs> if you don't want to see a church, you can just close up. But I love their... The last canvas I got, I really liked. So, in this room, I have, like, cows, and I have a picture back here of this church right here. I think I got that at Kirkland's, and I love it. I love that look. So, I'm thinking that all three of these are probably a church. Because I was going to hang them up in here and do, like, a, you know, a room of, like, church and maybe move my cows. Or maybe move these out front. I don't know. They tape these up, like, at, like each end. But yeah, guys, I don't know about the clothes. Like, what do you think? Every time I order clothes from there, I'm, like, super depressed over it. It's just nothing that I like. Like, I'd rather order from Shein, and I know they're kind of pretty much the same thing. But I, when I get Shein clothes, they're not as bad as the Timu ones. The Timu ones are freaking horrible. Just freaking horrible. So that might this might be my first return. I've never done returns, so. All right, here's the first one. Looks like this. Very pretty. I think. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell from there. It doesn't... No. No, 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 no. See, it's very... Um, it looks very pixelated, per se. I'll probably return this. I'm not, I mean... Mm, mm -mm, no. It's just super pixelated. I, it, it's a very, 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 very bad quality replica of whatever it was. <laughs> So yeah, so maybe I'll, I may just return this too. I might tape that up and return it. It just, mm, like that one canvas, that last canvas I got, it actually looked really good. <sighs> Let's cross our fingers for these other two. I hate when I get disappointed. I mean, I guess, I guess I have, you know, kind of is what it is. I mean, it's not like this stuff's gazillions of dollars. We're talking like a few bucks, so I probably shouldn't expect much, but... I at least expect it to look decent. Like, that looked terrible. Like, if you could see it in person, I don't know if you could really tell on the screen, but it looked really bad. 
I'm afraid of for this one now too. And these, I hate trying to get this tape off. Ugh, I just hate returning stuff. I'm definitely going to return the clothes though because they're just horrible material. And I know I at least probably paid 10 or $12 each. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'd rather save the 30 bucks to be quite honest. Okay, number two, let's see what we got. Let's hope for the best. Okay, that one is doesn't look too bad on my screen. So let me look at it this way. Okay, this one's much better. It's much, much, much better. The other one was not like this. Like, you can actually see a church on here. <laughs> like, this would be very pretty in a frame. So, okay, that one I like. That one's good. See, so I don't know what was up with the other one. I don't know if it was just a bad print or what. So, this one will definitely is a keeper. Okay, last one. Last one, guys. Sorry, my hair is falling in my face. Yeah, this is a lot of hair, by the way. I will do a review on it soon. Um... I got a mess going in here. Woo. All right. Last one. Let's see. Let's hope for the best on this one, too. Because I, I thought you could always, like, get frames at thrift stores. Like, really cheap. Like, really nice antique frames um, for a low price. I mean, you know. And you can put these in the frames or you can paint the frame. If, like, the frame's not the right color, you paint it, distress it. You know what I mean? Make it match. Do whatever you want with it. Okay, here we go. Number three. Let's hope for the best again. This one looks like it's going to be okay. I can tell just by the color. Oh, see it's see how these two are much more colorful? The other one, just, I don't like it at all. Although with that being said, I do paint. So I may take that other one and just go over it and make it my own. That's probably a better idea. This is beautiful. I love this one. It's got like a little wagon wheel down here. Really cute. Love that one too. Love that one too. So two out of three ain't bad. So yeah, maybe that other one I'll actually use as a paint canvas and repaint it, you know, repaint it and make it my own. I think that's an excellent idea. I'm glad I thought of it. All right, everyone, we're at 32 minutes and I, that was, that was a pretty decent miscellaneous haul. Not a lot of craft, not a lot of glitter going on, just a few earrings, but <laughs> all right, everybody, I hope you're having a great week. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Give me a like. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.